OK, let's get the name right from the start. It's Audrey, as in Hepburn. She was this famous actress in the olden days, and my dad had a major crush on her. Saddo or what? Mention my name, though, and he starts moaning about maintenance payments and the price of trainers. Oh, if you don't know, maintenance payments are what your dad pays your mum when they split up, right? So you don't need to be Carol Vorderman to work out that my parents are no longer an item. I live with my mum in a totally unhappening little flat with Round Ball here, who does more than his fair share of body bangs. Ooh, not very cool when you're hanging out with the guys. Dad chills with his new girl, Sienna, in his groovy new penthouse apartment. But Mum reckons, you know, she'll leave him when his love handles start grazing the floorboards. Any day now, right? <laughs> so anyway, it's ten days before Christmas and Dad phones me on the mobile. Now, he never phones me on the mobi. He's much too mean and he's always dissing me about the size of my bill. So I know something is up. Just to let you know, Princess. I hate being called a princess. I mean, uh, hello? Do I look as if I'm wearing a tiara? Sienna and I are having a kind of penthouse apartment warming come Christmas drink soiree. That's Dad speak for a party. Next Tuesday, bring a charm or two. Now tell me this. How can I go swanning off footloose and floss to a party? She's Dad leaving poor old Mum moping behind at home with a fat burble for company when she's just been fired again. I mean, uh, reality check. So I say to Dad, Dad, I'm only coming if I can bring Mum. And he says... Oh, uh, right. Your mother. And I say, yeah, remember her, Valerie? The woman you married and then divorced? And he says... Don't start. And then he says... Oh, bring her along if you must. Does she want to bring anyone, uh, special? He means, has she got a bloke yet? And that's when I heard her, his girlfriend. As if. So I say, yeah, actually, Mum would love to bring her new boyfriend along. Only Mum hasn't got a new boyfriend, or even an old boyfriend. Only me and that mangy, flea-bitten meat magnet that passes for a dog. So now I have to find her one. In five days! Well, statistically speaking, Audrey, the chances of your mother meeting Mr. Wright by Saturday are 5.3 million to one. There must be something we can do. What's with the shapes, Mona? I'm preparing for my audition. Jack and the Beanstalk at the Playhouse. Apparently, Catherine Zeta-Jones was once asked to be a fried egg, so I'm practicing trees, just in case. Ah, there we go. Feel like you're wasting your life waiting for the right man? Well, now, hundreds of eligible bachelors are just a click away. Just a click away from a millionaire. Shut up, Mona. Is that the time? My audition's in five. <sighs> this could be my big break. Isn't that the panto starring Larry DeLacy from Top Aussie Soap? Good day. He's well fit. Tell me about it. Like I didn't spend the whole morning buffing and gargling for fun. Wish me luck. I'm out of here. Right, where were we? Um, ah, www.oldsingleanddesperate.com The one-stop shop for the man of your dreams or nearest non-dream equivalent. www.oldsingleanddesperate? Yep, that sounds like Mum. Um, first things first, how old is she? Well, she swears blind she's 33, but that's a fat porky. She's 39. 39? She'll be dead soon. It's hardly worth it. OK, OK, we'll just say 29. Hobbies? Uh, she whinges a lot about not having a boyfriend. Don't we all? Hmm, let's call that amateur dramatics. Anything else? She picks her toenails. <laughs> uh, on second thoughts, don't mention the toenails. Now, we just have to press return and... Well, well, well. Checking up on your horoscopes again, eh, girls? Please! What do you take us for? We're just searching for some makeup tips for applying Britney Spears body glitter to the belly button region. Don't suppose you two can help us? Britney Spears? Body glitter? Belly button regions? Oh, that is well gross. Breeze. Oh, God. Nice going, Ord. Right, let's see who's the perfect match for your mother. Tell me I'm dreaming. 
That's not a dream. It's a nightmare. Anyone but him. Our drippy deputy head. I know I'm so going to regret this. Mum, just supposing you could take any man in the world to Dad's party, what would you do for a living? Well, hmm, a chiropodist would come in handy, but, uh, oh, I don't know, a movie star or an oil magnate, maybe? Seriously, Mum, I mean, what about a policeman, a car mechanic, or maybe even a nice teacher? A teacher? You've changed your tune. I thought teachers were the pits. No, well, 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 yeah, but not all teachers. I mean, actually, there are quite a few nice teachers at Rudley Comp, and, uh, and there's a lot to be said for them. Steady income, long holidays, l loads of cordroy. Well, I'm glad to hear you say it, dear. I'll be sure to pass on your comments at parent-teacher evening tomorrow. <laughs> parent-teacher evening? That is so totally not funny, Mum. I didn't mean... But, oh, but now you come to mention it... Now, Mr. Edgar, about Audrey's science results. Don't let's talk about Audrey. We have such a short time together. Totally gross! But it could just work, couldn't it? It may need a little help. So there we were, me and Stan, crashing the parents' evening just so we could make sure Mum and Mr. Edgar hid it off. Stan had a plan. I've been brewing this love potion. Uh, hello? Earth to Stan? Love potion, please? We are talking real life here, not Harry Pottersville. Now we just have to work out which is love a boy's mug. Um, gotcha! Uh, can we hurry things along a little bit, please? I get nervous being in this place out of hours. Someone's coming! Quick, hide! Blimey! This thing's heavy! Tee up! I've got your cap here, Mr. Edgar. Ew. Anyway, as I was saying, Mrs. Ms. Oh, miss. I'm single. Well, separated. Divorced. Almost. Yes, Miss. Well, Audrey's mum. If Audrey spent less time text messaging her friends and more time grappling with Archimedes' theory. Oh. Oh, oh, my, my, we are an attractive woman, aren't we, Audrey's mum? Call me Valerie. I'm Bernard. See? I told you it'd work. Where on earth did you get the recipe? It was in a magazine. <gasps> Sorry. Mona texts me. Says she's got the part in the panto. And she's bringing Larry to Lacey to the party. I think another bottle of love potion is called for. Me and Larry, what do you think? Shh, shh, shh. Listen. Nothing fancy. A little mulled wine, handmade crisps, quail's eggs on fake caviar, you know, the sort of thing. A party invitation. Sounds very festive. Uh-oh. I'd love to go. Yes! Oh. Are you, um... Enjoying the party, sir? Oh, very much so. Cooey! <laughs> Bernard! Got to go. I don't know why, but first dates always make me nervous. Especially when it's Mum. They're getting on well, aren't they? Ah! What's up? This has gone totally too far, Constance. When does this potion stuff wear off? I don't know. Can I phone a friend? Just pass me the antidote. What antidote? What? Listen, take a chill pill. A second bottle of potion will cancel the first. Are you sure? Sure. Well, well sh sure ish. Give it here then. I've only got one, and that's for me and Larry De Lacey. <gasps> oh, there he is! Oh, isn't he lush? This is important. If we don't stop this, I could end up with Mr. Ill as my new dad. I mean, surely that's more important than you getting to snog some gorgeous Australian soap star. Stan! Can I ask the audience? Stan! Oh, you're right. You take it. Foul <laughs> ball! Mr. Edgar! Larry! 
Your doggy's getting very affectionate with me, Audrey. I don't actually like dogs. Where am I, anyway? Oh, I think I need to lie down. Result! Worked on Larry, too. Blatant. <laughs> So what part did you get in the panto, Mona? Everybody has to start somewhere. Oh, come on. Fess up. Back end of the... cow? <laughs> <laughs> you know, even Jennifer Lopez had to start somewhere. Well, OK, maybe she never played the back end of a cow. Mind you, she's got the bum for it. <laughs> <laughs>